We do not want to think volume, volume, volume. No. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Jennifer Glatzofa, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and today I will be reacting to and analysing Kelly Clarkson's performance of She Used To Be Mine from the musical Waitress. Now, she isn't actually playing Jenna in the musical. This is her performance on her Kelly Oki her Kelly Clarkson show, it's to do with that. Kelly Clarkson seems to be everywhere at the moment and I am not complaining. I feel like I loved her before. There was a moment where I kind of feel like we didn't really hear much from her and now all of a sudden she's back and I'm here for it. I know one of my other YouTube friends, Hege, you can find her on Hege Official. She also has reacted to quite a few of Kelly Clarkson and Ariana Grande's performances together. But do go and check out her channel because I think she feels very similar to me that our love for Kelly Clarkson's just coming back. Before I do hit play on the video, I just wanna remind you that this is a reaction and analysis video, meaning I will be stopping and talking about the voice. That's what we do over here. If you're not a fan of that, that's fine. <laughs> you can just go and click on the link in the description Description. I will leave it there for you that will take you to the original video that obviously has no stops But if you like that sort of thing and you're still here and you want to support me and my channel even more Which will be absolutely wonderful. Thank you to those who already do you go over and check my patreon page I will also leave the link in the description below for you to go and check out. Let's go watch Kelly Clarkson's performance It's not simple to say in most days, I don't recognize me That these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons But I still remember that girl I'm gonna stop there. The arrangement, it's completely different to the original that I knew. I thought we were gonna go somewhere else, but we've gone somewhere else, <laughs> which is totally allowed because it's Kelly Clarkson's show. So we start off with this really breathy, quite a breathy onset, Asper onset on her vocals, meaning that the vocal folds aren't closing all the way, which isn't a typically musical theater sound, which obviously this song is. We kind of always strive for those uh, clear of fully vocal fold closure sounds. But again, in this circumstance, it's Kelly's version of this song. That little vibrato that she has in her voice, especially at the beginning, adds that sort of like trembling feel in her voice. For those of you that don't know this song, it's, I mean, it's a very emotional song. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail of the story because, <laughs> spoilers, but it's really fitting to the story of the song. And we kind of can hear that in the beginning part of her voice. Let's listen to that again. It's not simple to say in most days, that fast. I don't recognize me. It's kind of like she's really trembling and shivering and it's everything's quite still and tiny. It's just really small, delicate movements. Then we get a complete contrast in the second half. You know, we hear the band come in as well. It's a little bit more fuller sounding. And so is her voice. We get beautifully smooth belts up here and it's insane because she's going through her mixed voice and we can't hear those distinctive flips because she's smoothly going through her mix and, and just that balance is so good. I keep saying the word smooth, but that's literally what it is, just velvet. If I'm honest, I know I would give it up for a chance to start over. And there's so much chest connection in there. So nice. For that girl that I knew. And notice on the word girl, not for that girl, it's for that girl. It's a little bit open to an ah uh sort of vowel because then we have that natural connection from our chest up there as well. We're still beautifully in her mix, but there's so much chest connection in there to get that belt across, but it's just so controlled. For that girl that I knew who was reckless All these dancers. Who learns how to toughen up when she's through? 
Oh my goodness. You can hear a little bit of that distortion in her voice coming through and so much cry in there to keep her supported. I mean, body-wise, Kelly Clarkson is standing still. There's one hand here, one hand kind of moving every so often. Otherwise, everything is just there and engaged and switched on. But there aren't any additional movements that are helping her with her voice, apart from a little bit of a movement in her arm. Otherwise, she already has everything in the right position that she needs it to be in. Again, different choices to the original, which I love because she's listening to her body, listening to where it needs to go for her. And it's also offering quite a softer version of this, I think. She's not as angry as uh, in the original. Again, let's go back to the word love. Ah, we already have that kind of placement in there. There's a little break in her voice for that cry to come out. Studded. That placement. Of the life that's inside her, getting stronger each day till it finally reminds her to fight. Sorry, that finally. Listen to how easy. I know we kind of the the camera pans to the dancers, but listen how easy it sounds in her voice. That word finally again. Ah. We're in this placement already, so we don't need to be squeezing. That mouth is just naturally dropped anyway. But we're in this tiny, tiny place. And remember, the vocal folds are thinning out. As we go higher, the vocal folds are thinning out. So in order for us to get a beltier sound, we need to be including that resistance. All those crying exercise. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, so effortless. Just a little to bring Oh, nice. We stayed on that little... I've got so many things to say all at once. <laughs> Sometimes we get so caught up in including a new riff and, you know, something that no one has ever done, including a new way of doing this little section. Kelly Clarkson is holding on to, yes, she's opted up here. Normally, the again, the original go somewhere else. <laughs> but here, Kelly Clarkson has opted up, but she's holding on to that note. She is sustaining an E flat belt here. So there is definitely chest connection because we are belting, but it's not fully thick folds. It can't be because we're up there. Her vocal folds are thinning out, but that cry and that thin place and making sure that we're approaching it, not loudly because all that whining and the ugly sounds that we've been practicing in, in, your, in your practice, in your lessons, they all get us that volume. But in order for us to reach that, we do not want to think volume, volume, volume. No. The first time we hear mine, we hear a lot of vibrato early on and it's, uh, her vibrato is so good. What are you so comes in. Lovely little detail. And now she used to be mine. you can hear that right here. We get that a little bit. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we're done. <laughs> oh, I wanted more of that. I mean, it's a shame. I know obviously it's for the purpose of a show. So obviously the songs can't be too long because we've got to get to the chatting, but I wish there was more. <laughs> At the end, we did return to a little bit of an aspirate, but I think we had a lot more vocal fold closure there. So kind of getting to a little bit more of a, what we would be familiar as a musical theater sound, what would be familiar to there. And again, no added riff at the end. Sometimes we, like I said, we get so hooked up in the pop sounding world of musical theater that we wanna be adding riffs and it just takes it away from the story. 
there is a time and place if it makes sense to use it obviously go ahead uh like you know it's it's fabulous that and the agility that some people have it's incredible but it has to make sense to the story well like i mentioned at the end of that i wish there was more of that performance because her vocals are so smooth and she's always been like an, an, an incredible singer anyway but there's just something so effortless about those top no, I mean about her, about her whole voice really. Sometimes we want to feel like we're really like showing off the singing and showing how incredibly like difficult it can be, but we want to make sure that those singing, those those notes are coming from a healthy, safe place and that it's easy to access. So that when you are ahead singing, you're not thinking, oh, what do I have to do? All that thinking and that thought process happens in practicing, happens in rehearsals, happens in lessons. The when we're ahead singing, we're fully committed to the zone, especially in musical theatre, fully committed to the story. I loved it. I would like a Kelly Clarkson musical theatre album. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here with me today. If you did enjoy this video, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell button and the thumbs up button. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.